February. I am riding 300 kilometers today in a DIY Audax ride. This is my first long ride since the 200k poor student Audax on the 2nd of January. So um, I'm not that experienced this year with long rides. However, I've been training hard on the elliptical arc. really making my legs strong. We'll have to see if that transfers to long distance. This ride could take up to 21 hours. That's the time limit Audax have given me. Um, I'd really like to see it finish faster than that, but time will tell. It's a windy day, but I've got the breeze behind me for now. And it's 1 p.m. now, so I'll have the breeze for the day. Hopefully it will die down in the night and then on the return leg um, I won't have to fight so hard into the wind. Uh, my good friend Rich made this route and um, well he does like to go off the beaten track sometimes. I use his routes quite a lot. But it's lovely out here. It's a lovely day. I'm I'm glad I came out here because I've never been here and yet this is only, believe it or not, two and a half miles from home. Very bumpy roads here, this um, walking trail, lots of dog walkers, so um, not ideal but the scenery is lovely and I can see why um, the route was chosen. Um, but it's not great for 20 inch wheels, uh, I'm only averaging 11.1 .1 miles per hour which is also a bit of a drag. If I'd used the road, I'd have been averaging about 13, 14 miles per hour right now. But it's okay. It's not about speed, it's about the experience. Let's just hope we don't get any punctures here. about off the beaten track. I'm actually enjoying it though. Okay. I'm officially not happy. This is not a cycling lane. This is not. This is not Audax, guys. This is mountain biking, not Audax. You should feel how slippery this is. And another bike's just been here. I can see a fresh trail. Um, I've met lots of cyclists, actually, on road bikes, funnily enough. But it's a bit much. Um, it's very slippery, and it's not a road. But stop and take the fields in, and it's actually beautiful. Back on terra firma after five and a half miles of mountain biking, so to speak. Um, average speed, 10 miles an hour. So it was a bit of a slow stretch, but only five miles. But yeah, it was worth doing. It's uh, something new for me. Um, now we're in Castle for Time to start putting in some distance now. Uh, time to start riding. Now in the countryside of Northamptonshire, sailing along comfortably towards the east, heading towards um, Northampton town and beyond towards the east coast sailing at about 17 miles per hour with very little effort on an elliptical bike so that tells you what the wind is like um, if I played right and it dies down overnight then I could have a decent kind of pace all through I'm not sure it'll die down overnight though because it didn't die down last night um, but I'm sure it'll be weaker than it is now um, so let's keep our fingers crossed because I don't want to have to ride a hundred kilometers back into a headwind 
that's no fun. I'm only picking up the tailwind um, in, after 15 miles because I've been having a sidewind and even a headwind for the first um, 15 miles, but now I've definitely got the wind behind me and say okay. As I said, lovely out here. I'm enjoying it. I'm really happy. It's good to be out here. Nice. We live in a fantastically beautiful country, don't we? A man's house is his castle, evidently. Check this out. That hotel size thing is one person's house. I need to move here. Villages here are quaint. I'm liking it. Heading to 3 pm now, and I've covered 25 miles. Very urban in some parts of the course, but it's nice. Lots of hills. I find that going up hills with the wind behind you is much easier than going down hills with the wind in front of you. Lots of hills here, but with the wind behind me, barely noticing them. Um, going downhill into a headwind is it's not fun though. Out there are the big barns in Sandy, Bedfordshire. We've just crossed past Bedfordshire, heading towards the A1 near Sandy. Not sure if you can see that shot, those big barns that look like aircraft hangars. averaging 12.6 miles per hour. The wind behind me on an elliptical doesn't give you that much extra pace. It just makes the ride easy. So the ride is feeling really easy. A lot less cardiovascular effort, but no pace. It's not like a road bike where you really gain pace in a tailwind. I, I'm finding it really relaxed, really enjoying it, um, but I'm not going really fast. Plus it's, it's quite undulating. It's been quite hilly so far. Check this out, a solar farm. Everything here is solar powered. I wonder how much energy it really generates though. Never forget to look around when you're doing a very long ride. I always say the beauty of these rides is what you see. That's one of the great advantages of riding stood right upright. Uh, you get to see everything whether you think about it or not. Um, it's a really enjoyable experience because I don't do very long rides anymore. So when I do do them, I really appreciate them. 
place called Great Staunton. I've traveled 45 miles. Just met a man carrying a rifle. And he smiled and said hello. Obviously a different part of the country. I'm just passing Grapham Water. Lovely lake. Lots of cycling facilities here. Not sure if you can see it. Another off-road stretch. I need to be across there. I thought I'd drop in because I'm in the area. They do Segway touring, Segway touring here. Bike hire. Might just come back tomorrow with the kids for a spin around the lake. Matt, the deputy manager of the shops, gave me a cup of tea. Uh, not bad, I'm just in a, I'm in a place called Grafham Water, just on the A1, kind of heading to Cambridge. Mm. Yeah, so they, they made me a cup of tea, so I'm just going to have a flapjack here, and then I'll to head off. Yeah. It's really nice bunch of people at, um, at, at Rutland Cycling. Um, I'm on my way now, it is 5 o'clock. So I've been here a while, I've lost um, more than one mile per hour in average speed in the time I've been stopped here. Still windy, but it looks like it's slowing down slightly, which is great. Hopefully it'll stop. And those are the Segway guys leaving. I stopped for almost an hour at the shop. Much longer than intended. I don't think I'm going to be doing much stopping from here on, except maybe for food or more water. But um, I was averaging 13 miles an hour when I got there, so the wind has helped me pick up the pace, but um, not, not in a crazy way. I'm now four and a half hours into what will be a 17 to 20 hour trip for what I know. And it's starting to get dark. It'll probably be dark in an hour. Yeah, I'm well lit, as you can see. Very well lit. Lots of lights to choose from. Um, but I'm using them sparingly. I don't want to waste power because most of the ride is actually going to be in the dark. through Huntingdon, Cambridgeshire.
guys. No worries at all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lady muttering about that's a strange bike. Um, yeah. Swans in the canal. Surface is not too bad to be honest. Um, probably better than going through town. So hey, might as well enjoy the last bit of visibility near canal. Stones and gravel in my track system um, from the off-road bit just up there but it's already um, it's already self-cleaned but it's still making a few weird noises I love the isolation I'm going through a city and yet it's totally isolated it's, it's lovely uh, night riding at its finest really Check that out. As you can see, the wind is kind of to the side of me now. And it looks to be swaying from side to side, so it's not going in one direction, but it's kind of going behind me then to the side. They do a lot of that in this part of the world. We're on another dirt road actually. Um, no tarmac here. I'm just hoping it doesn't go on very long. Drop the camera just now. Um, try to put it back on its mounting. It hasn't damaged the screen in any way. It's got a few scuffs already. Bit of beaten off road, off road, um, but it looks like a road's about to form just here. So I'm um, hoping for the best. Sorry, is that your dog? Sorry, is that yours? All okay? I know, I know. I, I, it does. He doesn't look aggressive. He just looks like he's warning you someone's here. Do you live here? Okay, cool. I'm just riding by. Cool. Take care. No problems. Have a good evening. That's what riding through the farms is all about. In Chatras now. Heading towards March. I think we're deep in Cambridge here. We've covered about 71 miles, six hours. This is actually the same fast main road I left for that 10 kilometer detour into the off-road. I'm so glad I'm out of that. No more off-road for me. I'm avoiding it from now on. I could see this on the map. I could see the roads just about 200 yards parallel to me and yet I couldn't get across in those farms so I, I had to tough it out in the grass I was literally going riding through fields some of them had no road at all but uh, all in a night's adventure checking over to make sure there's no damage um, just dead we're all good full of mud in there seven o'clock just having dinner really and then riding into the night now I wasted so much time in the in the bushes might as well just finish off here have a proper meal and that's it for the rest of the ride 
I'm in a village called Feltwell. I've done 100 miles in 8 hours and 44 minutes and and I feel well in Feltwell. I think I can hear it. Yeah, I hear something coming. I hope it's a train. I don't want to be here forever. Whatever it is, it's big. A short train. for bikes to ride on it but one does feel like a bit of a plonker cycling recreationally on a motorway at close to midnight a place called Red Lodge been here before it's nice to uh, it's nice to see some familiar landmarks from previous events it's quite late now um, 11 p.m. It's 11 p.m. I've traveled 115 miles in old money and that's taken 10 hours and 10 minutes uh, so that's 186 kilometers 18.2 kilometers per hour 18.2 kilometers per hour overall and you know we're cruising moving speed is 20.5 kilometers per hour so it's all good. Let's get going. I just need to have a quick snack here. Just entering Newmarket, the horse racing town, and the county of Suffolk. We're in Newmarket. Very nice people in this place. I think I'm in Cambridge. I'm on an off road cycling lane. And I'm feeling really strong. My legs are feeling really strong, but I've only done 210 kilometers in 12 hours 20. So I've still got a long way to go. Um, probably getting home after sunrise. Riding through Cambridge along the river. and 55 kilometers covered in 15 hours and 24 minutes I'm heading on route 51 towards Bedford
Newport Pagnell, that is the north part of Mills and Keynes. So I'm basically back. I've done 290 kilometers in 17 hours, 47 minutes. Headwinds have been terrible and I've still got another 10k or so of headwind before I finally turn out of the headwind right at the end. What a dreadful, dreadful experience, but um, I was physically up to it. Physically it wasn't a problem. Mentally, it was not fun. Nearly sunrise, nearly home. I made it back at 7.30 a.m. and I've completed 301 kilometers in 18 hours and 47 minutes. Job done.